What's up guys, it is October 17th and we are talking about the fullness of atonement in today's daily devotionals. Um, the question of the day is, did Jesus make full atonement for all my sins or must I do more? We are reading from Pastor Doug Bassler's 365 Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Here we go. Give me a second. I just woke up. So just give me a second. Um, all right. <clears throat> there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. That's in Romans 8 and verse 1. Christ did not make a partial payment for our sins when he died on the cross of Calvary. Jesus paid the full penalty uh, for our transgressions. His gift was not just for a few good people, but for all. Remember, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him, whosoever believeth in Him. A lot of people would, will take that word, whosoever, and, and they're, gonna, they're going to apply it to just a group of people, to just one group of people. But no, it says whosoever. It's open to whoever. And whosoever, or no, okay, hold on, give me a second, sorry, I had to scratch my, to scratch my, uh, my head. Um, his gift was not just for a few people, but for all those who accept him in faith, owe no works of penance or, or for cleansing, but are already considered washed in the blood of the Lamb. The teaching that we must perform um, penance implies that there is a work we can do to help pay for our sin and thus earn our salvation this belief is contrary to the bible which clearly states for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god not of works lest any one should boast that's in ephesians 2 and verses 8 and 9 a gift is not a gift if we make any payment for it I love how the prophet Isaiah excuse me, describes this beautiful promise of forgiveness. I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins, Isaiah 43 and verse 25. This is more than a legal transaction. It is not just a matter of hitting the delete button on some heavenly computer. It's a promise of transforming power that will change our lives. If we compare God to how most sinful people function, we might think the Lord would not forget our sins and that He would want to make us pay for breaking the law. But God is not like us. He is so much more. See how Micah describes the attitude of our Redeemer towards His people. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnants of his heritage. He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all our sins into the depth of the or into the depths of the sea. That's in Micah seven and verse. 18 and 19 so when we sin and we when we ask for forgiveness and repent of our sins god will fully blot it out blot out all our sins and but we we must ask for forgiveness and repent but it is fully the work is done there's nothing that we can do to be saved god god saved us by grace meaning as a favor but we must have faith in him and faith equals to good works if you have if you have true faith true faith produces good works so anyways that is what we have for today october 17th in today's daily devotional thank you guys for coming by and uh, spending time with me um, if you guys were blessed by this please share if you guys are new please um, subscribe 
And for those of you guys who want to support, please pray for this online video ministry and donate at schoolforprofits.tv. We will take the donations. We will use them for more Bible study films and videos. Praise God always. See you guys on the next one.